Hello everyone and welcome on De Papier et de Rêves channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be painting with you an abstract painting. I'm not showing you a lot of abstract painting on my channel, but I do like uh, paint uh, this kind of uh, painting. It's a really uh, relaxing process and it encouraged me to improve my paintings and uh, try new things. And in order to see my improvements, I'm painting on a sketchbook uh, and I can see uh, painting after painting what I like uh, about this or this painting and what I dislike also. So today my sketchbook is uh, from Sennelier. It's uh, shaped like an accordion, so it doesn't have any binding to it. And it's made of 100% uh, cotton paper, so it's a very uh, good paper and it's a pleasure to paint uh, on it. I will put a, a picture of uh, this sketchbook on my blog so that you can have a better look uh, of it. Uh, and I will put the link in the description below. When I'm painting an abstract painting, I try to focus on one shape or one gesture in order to get a, a unity in my painting. And here it's uh, the line, uh, a vertical and horizontal line. Maybe it's not very clear right now, but you will see, uh, I will uh, build it and it will be very clear uh, at the end. In other painting, I can focus myself on round shape or on uh, explosive composition or s things like that. And uh, it's good to have a, a focus because there is no um, reference picture here and I can do anything I want. So I need to focus a little bit in order to get somewhere. Sometimes I'm using a reference picture, but it's just there to look at and I'm not uh, uh, following this picture very precisely. Maybe it's just one shape I want to reproduce on my paper, maybe it's one color and it's just a, a support for my imagination. I'm also using a limited palette when I'm painting in abstract uh, with three or four color only and it uh, helps me to uh, keep my focus on shapes and uh, not using all the color I have on my palette which will be uh, a bit too messy and too much. So today I'm using Queen Acadon Gold, uh, Queen Acadon Burnt Scarlet and uh, Lavender from uh, Daniel Smith. For this painting, I've decided to uh, make many layers in order to get a little bit of uh, depth in my painting and uh, to play a bit more with the uh, transparency of watercolor. So I'm building layer by layer slowly and uh, I'm keep adding colors and uh, even uh, more concentrated colors uh, step by step. As you may know, Queen Acadon Burnt Scarlet and Queen Acadon Gold are two very, very transparent colors and uh, um, Lavender is, uh, on the contrary, quite an opaque color. So I will playing with those two characteristics uh, in order to get more interest in my painting. Queen Acadon Gold is a very bright and uh, uh, joyful colors. Uh, with a lot of luminosity in it and on the other side lavender is a softer color and a little bit more poetic. When I mix uh, Queen Acredon Burnt Scarlet and Queen Acredon Gold I can get a large variety of yellow, orangey and red hue, almost uh, peachy colors and they are quite energetic but also soft at the same time. But when I mix quinacridone gold and lavender together, I cannot get some greens because the lavender is a bit too uh, violet um, and uh, it, there is not enough blue in it to get greens. So when I mix them together, I, I can just have some neutral gray that are quite interesting. And if I mix all the, those three colors together, I cannot get some darker color because of the opacity of lavender. It's quite a light color and I will s get just grays, but not very dark black color. 
And now that I work my way into the painting, you can see a little bit more of my work with uh, those uh, vertical and uh, horizontal lines. And I uh, start to get uh, some shapes uh, and uh, interest here. I'm alternating uh, some horizontal line with vertical line. The vertical to get the energy and uh, the dynamic here, but also horizontal in order to have a, a strong base like a foundation. And I'm keeping playing with those lines because I just want unity in my painting. And I'm focusing just on one shape uh, so that I can get this unity that is very important in abstract painting because there is no um, reference picture here and I can basically do anything I want. But if I want something cohesive, I need this unity. And I'm working this unity by the shape, but also by the color. And I'm repeating my touch of color in all the painting in order to, to be cohesive uh, in, uh, in the painting. So if I have a big, big splotch of lavender at some points, I will add some little touch of lavender in other points of my painting. And I do the same with the red. And the Queen Akedon Gold is all over the page so that it, it links all the colors together. And now let's talk about supplies. I've used a Raphael Petit Gris 803 number no. 2 and a Seville Bush Black Velvet uh, quarter inch in a dagger shape. For the color, I've used Queen Akedon Gold, Queen Akedon Burnt Scarlet, and lavender. And my paper is from Sennelier. It's a sketchbook with 100% cotton paper. One thing to know about this sketchbook, there is a crease in the middle of my page and uh, I need to be careful when I put water in this crease because I don't want a puddle of water in this area particularly because the paper is uh, a little bit damaged because of the bend and uh, it can soak up uh, water and make a mark uh, which will not be uh, graceful in the painting. And while I'm adding a little bit more detail on my painting, I'm mostly darkening some area with a little bit more uh, straight lines in order to get a little bit more contrast in my painting. So while I'm doing uh, that, I will talk a little bit more about my schedule for uh, this end of the year. I have a lot of things to do uh, at this time of the year, so I'm not sure I will be able to uh, post a video a week. So if you want to know if uh, there will be a video on Friday, please follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook and I, I will uh, tell you if there is a video on, or not. But let's go back to the abstract painting. I, I was at first very reluctant to make abstract art because uh, it's quite uh, impressive to be uh, in front of my white paper and without knowing where I'm going. I often have an, an idea of what color I, I should or I would use, but I'm not uh, confident in uh, my shapes and my composition uh, when I start. But the more I paint abstract art, the more I want to paint. So I need to find another sketchbook to paint uh, abstract art because this one is mostly finished. I have just one page uh, to go and that's it. And I will make a, a tour of this sketchbook in my channel in the weeks uh, coming. And I found that I, I really do love uh, painting abstract now. Uh, because it's very relaxing, I can do whatever I want and I, often I paint uh, at night uh, just before bed and uh, it's uh, a way to uh, calm my mind and not thinking about anything um, but just paint. And now I've had some uh, darker color which are a mix of uh, Queen Acadon Burn Scarlet uh, and mostly uh, lavender and a tiny bit of uh, quinacridone gold. And you can see that I, I cannot get a very dark color uh, with this mix, but I kinda like, kinda like it because it's cohesive with uh, the rest of the painting and it's very, uh, a very calming painting for me. 
And this video is now ending, thanks for watching, I hope you like it. Uh, please check the blog post uh, for more information about this painting and some uh, detail, uh, photo detail I will uh, take of this uh, painting. And uh, please tell me what you think about uh, this one uh, in the comment below. See you soon.